thought I'd talk a little bit about uh, something that I do as a clinician, uh, but it was born out of my work on myself in, in recovery, uh, and that's the whole principle of working on one's anger and anger management. Uh, I'm thinking of it uh, today because I just came from uh, one of the treatment centers where I do uh, a group on anger management. And uh, I've done anger management groups at a number of uh, centers. And uh, one thing I wanted to say about it was, again, it was, it's a very personal journey. And I am not uh, cured. I am not um, perfect. And I uh, feel like that this particular part of the recovery journey is lifelong and it's very real and very palpable for me. And you know, some of it has to do with uh, the way that I see anger has to do with having found as part, it, it, within my recovery I found a Zen Buddhist practice or I started a Zen Buddhist practice a number of years ago. And through that practice um, was given a lot of tools, suggestions, and ideas, but more just from the sitting in Zazen, sitting meditation, sort of really seeing uh, into the idea of um, accepting and embracing anger. Um, I grew up in a culture, in a, a world where anger does exist, and my relationship to it was off. And a lot of the reason that it was off was because of how I was introduced to it but also because of my relationship to substances, and especially alcohol, um, and its relationship to anger, and how it can really shift and change the way that a person experiences anger, and how they deal with it, or channel it, or don't channel it. So what I see with a lot of clients um, is that um, their relationship to anger is, I get angry, and I either stuff it and use, or I get angry and I act out and I use, that the using is the common denominator. So the first thing that one needs to be able to do is develop enough tools to manage the anger sufficiently to obtain and maintain sobriety. And then it becomes a quality of life thing where um, how can I live with these feelings and manage and work with my feelings as a whole but particularly with anger, because I think anger gets a bad rap. I think anger is misunderstood. Um, I think uh, anger is, is really malfunctioning a lot. Um, so uh, my own personal journey was that um, it was, my anger was very tied to my using. And when I got sober, um, in my early recovery, uh, there was a definite um, time lag between my substance recovery and my anger recovery. And I really, when, it, when my anger came up and I sort of really discovered it um, sometime during my first year of recovery, it was kind of shocking. And so I went on my own personal sort of journey with it and experience of it. And then over time, uh, through more and more experiences of life, by staying sober long enough, I started to get more life experiences. I became a high school teacher when I was like a, a year and a half into recovery. And I learned a lot about my anger there. And I learned that if I didn't manage it, um, there were going to be consequences. That if I were not able to manage my anger, that I would end up harming you know, uh, 34 adolescents at a time, five times a day. And so um, it was almost like I was pushed into uh, extreme sports anger management um, through my work. And what was going on at the same time was my work in recovery which is the, both the, you know, the clinical literature, the, the therapeutic literature, and the 12-step literature both agree on the impact of anger in particular, but anger and stress and you know, mismanagement or inability to work with one's emotions. So I saw that I needed to, um, to do that work in order to learn how to work with my own emotions before I could ever help anyone else with whatever they were going through. So in any case, I really made a, a real project of it. And um, 
as a result, I, and as a result of keeping the focus on that, I feel like my other emotions have come into place. You know, they, they, they are where they're supposed to be and how they're supposed to be. And I've also noticed by doing that work that after a certain point, instead of being filled with resentments and living, you know, in my anger uh, and living in my frustration and living in my disappointment, I found myself living um, my, with my emotions being experienced as they were in chronological order. So when I was sad, it was because I was sad in that moment, and I experienced the sadness. When I was angry, I was angry in that moment, experienced the anger, and so, and so on. And so I feel as if, again, this is for me, this is something that I just wouldn't have received without recovery, and I wouldn't have received without um, taking the, the drugs and the alcohol out of my life. Um, because the drugs and the alcohol were keeping me from being able to perceive any of this, to be aware of it, to channel it, to work with it, to do anything with it. And so, again, the, 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 the whole thing about recovery, the whole principle behind recovery, I think, is that we are able to stop the behaviors and then we are able, through stopping those behaviors, to adapt new behaviors and also to expand beyond just simple behavior. And um, anger management is a really, to me, is a real big umbrella for um, becoming a more whole person. And instead of being driven by one particular emotion and its auxiliary emotions and auxiliary actions, I get to have all of my emotions and I